It looks like the upcoming DVD 6th anniversary chapter has been leaked. And I don't have a pop filter on. It looks like the upcoming DBD 6th anniversary chapter has been leaked. Here's a quick rundown. The leaker is at DBD Leaks, a Twitter account that has previously supplied good information. See the artist leak, for example. They can't 100% confirm accuracy, but given that the images appear flawless to the way that behavior usually create killers, survivors, and perks, and that the screenshots are definitely in engine, it seems likely that these leaks are, in fact, accurate. To begin with, we have the new survivor, Hadi Kaur. Hadi Kaur, I'm. I, I kind of her three perks are residual manifest which after a successful killer blind action inflicts the killer with blindness for 30 seconds blindness blocks all auras and as far as i'm aware this is the very first time that survivors have had the ability to inflict killers with this status effect inner focus is her second perk and it allows you to see other survivors scratch marks within 32 meters of you when a survivor loses a health state within 32 meters the killer's aura is revealed for five seconds finally she brings over zealous which activates after cleansing a totem your generator repair speed is increased by 4%. These perks are all considerably more aggressive playstyle focused than any we've seen in recent history. Overzealous is going to supply me with weeks worth of content, or, you know, years on my current upload, right? Although I really don't think the gen speeds should be messed with right now. I, I think I get what they're doing. I think they're trying to make it as like a counter to boons. Like, oh, well, you don't really have much reason as a survivor to cleanse dull, uh, cleanse dull totems anymore. So now you do. I don't know. Uh, the other two offer really interesting tilts on existing mechanics. I love it when we get new content that does that sort of thing, so I'm really excited and hopeful that these are real. The new killer is called The Dredge. Their new perks are septic touch you which applies blindness and exhaustion anytime a killer performs a healing action within your terror radius these effects linger for six seconds after a healing action is interrupted by any means this means that if you get the drop on survivors while they're healing you'll be in a great position to take them down quickly take that self-care users dissolution activates for 12 seconds three seconds after injuring a survivor by any means the next time a survivor fast vaults over a pallet inside of your terror radius the pallet is broken and the perk deactivates this is going to be beastly on certain killers. I'm not really sure why there's a three second delay there. I imagine they have their reasons for it. Probably a playtesting thing. Seems a little bit strange. Uh, it might be because that's after they finish their sprint burst they get after you hit them. That's probably the reason why. Still seems a little bit weird to me, but cool. Finally, we have Darkness Revealed. When you open a locker, all survivors within 16 meters will have their aura revealed to you for three seconds. This perk has a 30 second cooldown. Finally, a perk to cover up my mistakes when I think that survivors have jumped into lockers. They never have, it's just that I always do, so I always think survivors are going to as well. Now, the thing you actually care about. Their ability allows them to leave a remnant in place. When aiming at a locker, you can teleport into it or press the attack button to return to the remnant. The remnant gets disabled when entering a locker or when a survivor touches it. While in a locker, you can teleport to any other locker. This consumes a power token. When exiting the locker or returning to a remnant, the power is on cooldown, after which you gain all your power tokens back. You can now vent in Dead by Daylight, finally. Survivors can place locks on lockers to slow you when exiting them, and you can break locks by exiting from locked lockers or performing an attack on the lock. Try saying that three times fast, jeez. Each locker can only be locked once. I don't know where you get locks from. It might just be an action that's enabled when the killer is the dredge. It doesn't say, but there you go. His secondary ability is Nightfall. Now, this is really cool. This is a meter that builds when a survivor is injured, hooked, or when you teleport. It feels faster for each injured survivor. Once it reaches max, Nightfall begins. Survivors must now navigate in total darkness. Your teleport is faster with a shorter cooldown, and you have no terror radius. This ability ends after 60 seconds, and if a survivor destroys a remnant during Nightfall, the time is also reduced. That sounds incredible. They're injected horror back into dbd with a frankly fascinating killer power and some really interesting perks to boot i hope that nightfall doesn't just completely black out your screen but instead adds a kind of close fog so you can still roughly see what you're doing but if the killer's coming for you he'll just suddenly appear out of nowhere that's gonna be terrifying uh, dbd leaks also mentioned there's a new map with a main building and a similar layout to thompson house also you can teleport to a locker with a survivor in and instantly grab them what do you think of this leak i for one really hope it's real as this killer sounds awesome I'm excited. Please be real. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. I didn't want to make a 20-minute video about this because that's what everyone else does. I know that this is just basically regurgitating the information that was posted on Twitter. I've kind of given my insight into it and, and my take on what I think 
the reason is behind these decisions. But I don't want to make this a long video because I, I don't have the patience for those personally. So I hope this is okay. Anyway, thank you for watching. By the way, I'm live at 9.30 a.m. BST every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That's every weekday. So go on my Twitch and check it out.